just when you thought the second stimulus package debate could be any more crazy than it was, Larry Kudlow just invalidated an entire executive order. Good evening to everybody. This is Ally Light. Thank you for joining me on the Hot Mess Express called Larry Cudlow. This is Evening's Ally Light, our program every night at 6.45, and it starts with a hot mess I have never seen. Larry Cudlow literally just invalidated the executive order issued Saturday by the President of the United States to extend unemployment benefits originally at $600 a week, then under the executive order to $400 a week. Well, guess what? They're now $300 a week because Larry Kudlow says so. That's currently the mess that we're dealing with in, dr in addressing your second stimulus check, hazard pay, rent eviction moratoriums, which the president also said he issued by executive order and didn't. And then people are asking, where are members of Congress? Are they really on recess? Are they gone? Are they coming? I'm going to be detailing all that to you right away. And then I'm also going to be answering incredible questions about what's going on with the challenges to FPUC first. The second stimulus check debate became very screwy this Monday when everything this channel has been reporting about the check was confirmed by Steve Mnuchin. On a, Saturday, on a Monday morning interview, he said that of the second second stimulus package, there are all the parts in the package, each of the parts had been agreed upon, which this channel had reported for two weeks. The second stimulus check had been agreed upon, has um, uh, food stamps, an extension of PPP, rent eviction, rent uh, moratorium, rent grant, mortgage forbearance. It kept on going and going and going. Student loan debt. All these things were agreed upon. And so you sat there and thought, well, why don't we have a check? Why don't we have a law? He got to eventually the big ticket item. One trillion dollars, a bailout of states that held up the second stimulus check, held up the delivery of the second stimulus check. And because there's this massive bailout of one trillion dollars for the states, the bill couldn't actually be a ra be voted upon as law. So where are we here today, Ally Light? Well, where we are is we have an agreement. We have an agreement about the second stimulus check. $1,200 to every individual. $1,200 whether you're an adult dependent or minor dependent. $1,200 based upon uh, whether you're on SSDI, SSI, Social Security, or railroad benefits. It can't be any better great news than that. We have this agreement about your check. We also have an agreement about when you're getting the check, how you're getting the check, by electronic delivery, seven, 10 days after the Treasury sends it. Can, the Treasury can send it out 10 days after there's agreement by members of Congress. We also understand how quickly, and a lot of people ask me this, how quickly Congress can vote on this and when will Congress vote on this? No, Congress is not home in their home state of sep till September indefinitely. That's completely incorrect and false reporting, and I'm sorry you're watching that, whether it's CNN or Fox, it's simply incorrect. First, Congress is on recess, but there's already agreement from Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi that within 48 hours, actually 24 hours, after there's an agreement reached between Nancy and Steve Mnuchin, they will all fly back and vote on the second stimulus package. That's the first thing. Second, there's an uh, in inherent constitutional authority the president has to order them back to vote on the on the on the package, even if they didn't want to. So as people sit here and think, I we're not going to see anything to September because they're not going to work on it. Well, they may choose not to work on it. Steve and Nancy may choose to do absolutely nothing, but they do have an agreement to get this voted upon within 48 hours of a deal between Nancy and Steve. Now, the next question you ask is, what are Nancy and Steve doing? Uh, are they up in the tree? H I, I don't know where they are. And what makes this even more peculiar is that the entire nation is now focused on one thing. Where is Steve and Nancy? What is Steve and Nancy doing? It's like this. It's like a bad sitcom. Steve and Nancy, da, 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 and you have that fancy music. It's like, what are they doing? Well, Steve has asked that question. He says, "I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. 
I'm not going to tell you where I am. I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to be going for. I mean, what do you mean you're not going to tell me? You're not going to tell us. You're paid by us to tell you if you're going to meet with her. Now, a lot of people also ask me about questions or comments that Steve and Nancy have made uh, that are very, very confusing out of context. Nancy, someone said, did it Nancy said she's going to meet with Steve? No, she said, I will meet with Steve. And, and the person also asked, didn't Nancy said, I'll come down a trillion dollars? Let me explain what she actually said. She said, I will come down a trillion dollars and meet with Steve if they move as well. So there's a qualifier to it. Steve said, I will meet with Nancy if she gets off her number. Uh, and then sa they said, well, what's your number? He's not going to say my number, which is just like, get it. Bunch of kids. I mean, enough already. Now, uh, Pete Navarro, who's sort of like this, you know, Sunday morning said, this is ridiculous. Now, he's in the Trump administration. He said, this is ridiculous. Just get the two people in the room and meet halfway and get it done. <laughs> Can I put that on a megaphone? Can I put that on a big billboard? Uh, now, he also said something very disconcerting, and I want to throw this out to you. You can take it for a grain of salt. Actually, drop in the comments. I want to hear what you say about this. He said that Nancy and Chuck have a motivation not to agree upon this because it will implode the president's electability. The economy will go into the tank, and the president will not be reelected. Um, I don't know if that's true, but let me get right to what... Larry Kudlow did today. Uh, you're waiting for your FPUC. You know that FPUC expired $600 a week, which goes on top of UI and PUA benefits every week. And um, you're wondering where it is. And <laughs> the president passed an executive order on Saturday and said, hey, I'm going to give you FPUC. Even though I legally cannot by the Constitution, I'm going to give you FPUC. And you know what? I'm going to give it to you at $400 a week instead of $600 a week. And it's actually, it sounded sort of good because it was the number exactly that this channel has been reporting for three weeks. Actually, before the Republican proposal was announced, I said, come in at like 400 or 500. No one will disagree about it. So the president said, I'll do 400. It's like fake. It's like fake cards. It's like, you know. It's like backhand. It's 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 just it's horrible, because within 24 hours they backed off the number. The executive order says we will pay you this amount of money. So Steve, so Larry Kudlow was asked today, "What are you doing with this $400, Larry? You're paying the $400. No one has seen the $400. Are you paying the $400?" He said, "The states don't like it." Oh, does that sound familiar? <laughs> Who said that to you first? Who said to you the states are not going to pay a friggin' penny of this stuff, money? Suddenly states are supposed to come up with money they never had when they absolutely... We have Steve Mnuchin on the other side of the table saying, state bailout, blah, you see my videos. So now the states that absolutely are trying to get a bailout are asked, are asked to pay an extra penny? Mm -mm, they're not doing it. So Larry Kudlow said they're not paying the money. Oh, Larry, what are you going to do? We're going to change the executive order. I'm going to make it $300 effective right now. <laughs> I just can't. I can't say it with a straight face. You can't change an executive order by executive order because you're talking to a broadcaster on a, on a, on, on a three o'clock interview time slot. You can't change an executive order just by talking out of your mouth. You can't do this. And so he now says states can still, if they want, throw $100 in, but we're not going to require them. Um, they can sort of do it if they want, but we're not going to require them. Uh, <laughs> Um, needless to say, the reporter started to quickly ask the state, are you paying any one of these people these money? Uh, no, 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 and no. <laughs> I just, I, I can go down the list. But as you sit here now, people are asking me, am I going to get my $400 LLA? No. Uh, no, as of now, Larry Kudlow has now changed $400 from the federal government. It's $300. Well, am I going to get the $300 from the federal government? Uh... Hard to say, <laughs> really hard to say. At the moment, it just looks like a hot mess. Now, what's very interesting, as that thing comes over my ear, and it's not a flower, this is not that show. Uh, oh, and by that, by that way, if I didn't say it at the beginning of this broadcast, I can't remember if I did, Hazard Pay's video got uploaded into the FPUC time slot today. Uh, excuse me, FPUC's video got uploaded to the hazard pay time slot today. So you're watching an FP, you're watching a hazard pay video. I was talking a lot about unemployment. I'm going to be delivering that hazard pay video to you at 7.15 Pacific Standard Time. 
Sometimes it's a hot mess express here. I, it, it has to be some type of hot mess express somewhere. But at least I have my friggin' act together. I, I just don't put me in the same boat as those people over there in D.C. So why or when will the Democrats be challenging FPUC in federal court? Well, uh, I this is interesting that it's a little bit like a... Um, drawing someone into a fight. The president apparently was really trying to draw the Republic, the Democratic senators into a court fight, and he wanted them to sue him. And he wanted to then spin it back as, hey, they don't want to give you money. So apparently they were asked about this, and um, they called it constitutional slop. They said the executive order is a constitutional slop. We already know the, um, the one for... Uh, eviction moratorium is junk because it doesn't give you an eviction moratorium. But when Chuck Schumer was asked whether the Democrats are going to file a lawsuit to invalidate FPUC, he says the bottom line of the executive orders is that they're unconstitutional. But the bottom line is even if they're there, they're not going to do what's needed or even come close. Um, so what does that really mean? It basically means, and I could just go through the quotes, but I'm not going to bore you to death with Chuck Schumer's chatter is that he's basically saying hey um they're giving you $300 a week we were going to give you $600 a week and let's just let this implode is basically what Chuck Schumer is, is anticipating that states will not end up paying you anything and that the best you could hope Chuck Schumer's thinking is that a few states will process $300 from the federal government and they'll sit back and say hey here we are. Uh, we were going to give you $600. They gave you $300. Try to live on $300 a week, which no one can. That's where we are with that. Now, um, as to where this all goes, people are very confused if the second stimulus bill can get ratified into law in August or if we really have to wait all the way to September. And people are a little bit getting irate about it. Um, and I, it's not just viewers. It's also congressional leaders. A leader came out today who is a Democrat and said it's outrageous that congressional leaders are on recess or back at home or putting their feet in the jacuzzi back in their home state when they should be in Washington getting a bill done. It's very well, um, it's very well said. There's a lot of stuff that has come out, and it's interesting where this will go because viewers have said, why didn't they do this as separate bills, which is what the Republicans said. Why are they holding up my check because of a, a state bailout? Why can't they get hazard pay done because hazard pay workers are on the front line, they're working right now. Why can't they just get hazard pay done right now? If they're so far, so close on FPUC at just $200 a week, why can't they just meet in the middle? $400, $500, $600, meet in the middle, $500, get it done, and we're done. I've been reporting that all these things are happening, but the problem is that there's no sense of urgency, and viewers really get that. They really get there's no sense of urgency from anyone involved here, whether it's the president, the Congress, or the cabinet members. There's no sense of urgency. And so as you sit here today, viewers sometimes are losing a little bit of faith. And what I want to say to you is this, is that ultimately I had the same situation over two months ago when this channel first launched. We had viewers who had applied for EIDL loans, which was under the first stimulus package. It said $10,000 in their pockets within three business days. Imagine the pandemic's hit, your business is imploding, you find something from the federal government under the CARES Act that says $10,000 within three days you apply, three days pass, you don't have $10,000. So imagine all these viewers, which at that time was very small. It's not like today, thank you, it was like 7,000 new subscribers last night. I had like 100 subscribers then. I said, I know you need the $10,000. It was just like now. I know you need the $1,200 stimulus check. I know you need it right now. I know you need to pay rent. Don't take it out on me if Steve and Nancy don't meet tomorrow. Don't take it out on the next person. Don't lose faith and don't lose hope, which is what I said to those viewers on that very first day in April. Uh, of the, that this channel launched, that don't lose hope you didn't get the $10,000 today or within three days or within six days, you will get 
that grant. And I can remember, I could edit it in and put the, the clip in, I'm not gonna do it. I stood there, I kept on saying, you're going to get the money. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to get your second stimulus check. And for those people that wanna jump in the comments and say it's false hope, good, jump off the comments and go to another channel. They'll tell you incorrect information, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it because there will be a second stimulus check because no president will get elected if there's no stimulus check. This president will never get reelected if he doesn't give anyone a stimulus check. It's as simple as that. And if he waits to give you a second stimulus check the day before the election, he's not going to get reelected either. He's going to give you a second stimulus check when he realizes that this is an urgent matter. When Steve Mnuchin realizes that this is an urgent matter, someone jumped in the comments to me that he said they said they heard. I don't know. I can't. I did not have time to look it up. That Mark Meadows was out of town and doesn't even want to negotiate for a week. If that's true, that's sort of what we're dealing with. That these people really are acting like a bunch of asses. And I hate to say it, but they're both acting like a bunch of asses. These people are paid to work. They're paid by our gov by our pennies to be working, and they should be there. On the other regards, you shouldn't be losing faith because what's happening is here, people are saying, I didn't get the check on Friday, I'm giving up hope on Monday. I didn't get the check on Tuesday, I'm giving up hope on Tuesday, on Wednesday. And then there's some people saying, I'm never gonna get the check. Absolutely categorically incorrect. If you wanna do that, you can do that. But that is categorically incorrect. You're going to get a second stimulus check. You're going to get FPUC somewhere between $400, $600 a week. We know this because the parties in the room agreed to the amount. Steve and Nancy agreed to a second stimulus check at $1,200 whether you're an adult dependent or minor dependent, whether you're on SSDI or SSI or Social Security benefits, they agreed upon it. They agreed upon the time of delivery that the check would be sent out from the Treasury within seven days after enactment into law electronically. So we have all this teed up. The problem is they're acting like idiots. There's first a big bailout of states. There's Mark Meadows who wants to take vacation. There's congressional leaders that think, you know, I'm just going to go sip, sip and relax. And then, you know, there are executive orders that are just like, you know, let's ride them, uh, eviction moratorium, and call it an eviction moratorium when it's not an eviction moratorium. And so if you get evicted because the order is not written right or much of nothing, who cares? And as the president was asked on Friday, what do you think about the um, FPUC? You know, what if the states won't pay it? Well, if they don't pay it, they don't pay it. That was actually his remark. I'm not trashing him. That's actually his remark. And today, Larry Kudlow says, yeah, they won't pay it. So we had to fix it. Bottom line is, there's a hot mess express, and it just keeps on going like this. It's a little screwy. As one viewer said earlier today, he says, I'm getting a headache from this LLA. It's just, my head's about to explode. Please don't make this chat, please don't make members of Congress turn into your Advil addiction. It's just, it's not worth it. There's a lot to come, and there's a lot moving parts. Ultimately, you will get your check, you will get your check. You will get SSD, uh, your um, your FPUC. You will continue to get UI and PUA benefits. You will get extended benefits. I will put, I will definitely get the hazard pay in the right video slot, and we will get through this together. And if you are one of those people that sort of gives up, um, then then fine, you can give up. But the rest of us won't. We're going to be here, and we're going to get through it together. Stay motivated, stay inspired, stay positive. Thank you for joining me this morning on Mornings LLA. There's a lot of stuff going on, and there's always something for me to update you about. So go to the front of this channel and where there's a subscribe button and hit that subscribe button and hit the alert button. Earlier today, I... It was just everything hitting in everything in every direction. And one of the big developments, of course, was uh, Joe Biden chose Pamela, Kamala Harris here from California as his vice presidential running mate. So there's always something and it's going to become very fluid and very twisting and very quick. And so with that, see you tomorrow morning at 8.30 Pacific Standard Time for Mornings LLA. But coming right up after this video, instead of EIDL tonight, will be that hazard pay video. Stay inspired, stay motivated, and stay with LA for more.